Last season, we did a special on issues facing teen girls, and the response was overwhelming. So we decided to do it again, and I've packed my audience with teen girls ages 14 to 17. Every day, teen girls are faced with tough decisions from drugs, violence, sex, and dangers lurking over the internet. Today, we're going to tackle those issues head on. The parents of my audience are in a separate studio. They'll be able to watch the show and hopefully walk away a little more aware of the pressures their teen girls face. Social networking sites have become a staple in a teenage girl's life, but few know some of the dangers that can happen if they're not careful who they meet. My next guest is 14 years old. She thought she met her dream guy online. It soon turned into a nightmare. My guest is Sharice. Sharissa. Sharissa, and you're 14 years old. Yes, I am. Why don't you, why are you here? Um, I was 13 years old at the time. I went on a website in a chat room and I met um, a few different guys and just started talking to them. I met this guy who told me his name was Nevin Roberts and he was 17 years old, so I thought. And we started dating. Um, we dated for five months and we would talk every single day, maybe eight hours a day on the phone if I wasn't at school. And so then finally in February, early February, he decided he wanted to move to Wisconsin to see me and to be with me. And so he did, and that made me very nervous. It made me get butterflies because I was very happy, but I was very afraid of what he could be. I've been taught from a very young age that you, you don't meet people you don't know. So even though you've been talking on the phone and you meet him over the internet, you've, you never actually met. Right. Then I finally met him over at a grocery store by myself. And when I first saw him, I was, I was very happy, but I had those little feelings inside that just make you kind of queasy, and I didn't understand why. And so I gave him a hug, and. We went to the store and my parents ended up coming over to the store because I was gone for about half an hour and they ended up catching us. And so then my parents laid down this rule that I could only see him when they were at home because they didn't trust us. And then um, my parents left us alone for about maybe an hour because they started getting in our trust back. He, we ended up having consensual sex. I'm 14 and he's 17. I, I wasn't happy with the age difference. I knew it wasn't right. And then, how, how old was he really? He's really 32 years old. You really, I'm, I'm looking at it and he just, he looks like a middle-aged man. He looks like a 30-year-old man. And when did you realize that this guy wasn't who he said he was? Things he would tell me over the phone when we weren't together physically just started falling apart when he came to Wisconsin. It wasn't making sense. It didn't make sense at all. Well, did you say, what school are you going to? Uh, yeah, I, I did. He would tell me that he was on online schooling and that his parents kicked him out and just all kinds of lies. That and just, where was he living? He was living with, um, he moved in with a couple of different people. He moved in with roommates and they just paid rent all together. At some point, he did tell you he was 25, though, right? Yeah. Um, actually, two weeks later, after we had sex, after I, I was OK with it, um, he finally came out to me saying that he was 25. Um, at that time, all my sexual feelings for him and anything that I had done before totally grossed me out. I didn't want to be around him, but I was too afraid at that time to say anything to anybody. I did also think that maybe in time I could get around him being 25. 
and still be with him, which was a stupid mistake. And then what happened? About a week later, my parents left us alone again, and I would not have sex with him. I kept on telling him, no, I'm not okay with it. You know, you're, you lied to me. Why, why'd you lie to me? You know, why didn't you just tell me? And he just kept on telling me, you wouldn't have understood. You wouldn't have stayed with me. And he forced me to have sex. He raped me, and I was crying. I was home. I didn't think about myself. In the course of a month and a half that him and I were together when he came to Wisconsin, he raped me seven times. Why didn't you tell your parents? I was scared. I was very scared. I was scared of what he was going to do to me. I was afraid of what he was going to do to my parents. I, I didn't know what to do. I was stuck with my feelings. Did he threaten you? He threatened me on numerous occasions, yes. Uh, what would uh, he say? About if you tell anybody that I did that to you, I will hurt you. I will do it again. And how, how did it eventually come out that this was um, happening? I finally ended up getting the courage when I went out to my grandma's um, to break up with him over the phone. He was very furious. And I started to see someone else. And he gained enough trust within me that I couldn't hold that I was being raped. How did he get caught? My friend called me up one morning when I was out at my grandma's and said, hey, you want to go to the park? Me just thinking, yeah, let's go to the park. Let's just go hang out. Uh, we went to the park, and there he is sitting on a bench. I, my heart dropped. My heart dropped all the way down to the floor, and I didn't, I, I didn't know what to do. I froze. Well, she, get a, she got a phone call, and her parents didn't want her out of the house that day. So I was sitting there alone with him. I didn't know how to go about leaving and he proceeded to rape me again. And thank God that a teacher came into the school that day and came outside to see what was going on. Well, at that time, he didn't have any of his makeup on. He didn't have his hair all done up. He looked like he was in his 30s. Um, he was looking towards his luggage and the lady looked back at, back at me and I mouthed help. About 45 minutes later to an hour later, cops showed up and were asking him questions. So then they arrested him for obstructing an officer. So the police did arrest him? Yes, they arrested him and took me and him in for questioning. They then for told me that he is 32 years old. And that completely disgusted me. It's incredibly brave for you to tell the story. So I want you to, whatever final advice you want to give to everybody out there. All I can say is be safe and don't meet people you don't know over the internet. It gets you where I am. Well, it's true. I mean, listen, be careful with this stuff. And the other thing is, don't spend too much time on that stuff. Go out and actually be with your girlfriends. Be involved. Don't waste your life away on, on the computer. Enjoy life. Don't sit in front of a computer all day long. Actually meet boys in your school or, or your social uh, networking. That's, that's the way you should do it. That's how you really get to know someone and know who they are.